plantitas ng plantitas, good day. So, sisasimulan na natin ang bromeliads na isipan ko din i-repot na rin itong poncetia. So, I'll show you how to repot and also plant care tips. Ito ako ng soil na gagamitin natin sa ating poncetia repotting. So, um, usually po, ang ginagamit talagang potting mix for poncetia is vermicast with coco peat and rice hull. So, I'll just add more coco peat and rice hull to this potting mix. For the temperature, keep the poncetia at a normal room temperature but not above 20 degrees Celsius. Nighttime temperatures of 16 to, degree, to 17 degrees Celsius are best. Too much heat will shorten the blooming period. Ponsetias are sensitive to extreme temperature below 10 degrees Celsius and over 30 degrees Celsius. Avoid placing your plant too close to any heat source or on top of a tel television. Keep it away from cold drafts as well and protect it between the store at the end your home for watering water in moderation with tepid water when the soil is dried to the touch thoroughly soak the soil mixture above but avoid wa over watering as this can cause root rot never leave any water standing in the saucer allow the surface of the soil to dry out between waterings or like what i used to do i just spray the leaves and let it wet or be moist so for fertilizing there is no need to fertilize your poinsettia when or while it is in bloom after blooming the vegetative growth period begins depending on the cultivar a poinsettia may remain in bloom for four months or even longer so for as here in the philippines it may the bloom or the red leaves can stay at the, may stay until march after that time, its bracts will gradually lose their color. Most people buy a new poncetia every year. If you want to keep yours as a green plant, or if you are a very enthusiastic gardener and want to try coaxing it to rebloom, follow these tips. Pruning and repotting. In late April, prune your poncetia, cutting all the stems back by one third. For a more compact plant, keep only two or three leaves on each stem. Be sure to mist the plant with water to limit the seepage or of late latex and prevent it from drying out. Poncetias do not like to have wet feet. Repot the plant in an aerated, well-drained medium. You can use a ready-mixed commercial substrate or blend your own like this. Using equal parts potting soil and peat moss. Prune the plant again in late July or early August or pinch back the ends of the stem, leaving three or four leaves per stem to encourage bushy, compact growth. Never pinch a plant back after early September if you want to rebloom. For light, once all risk or frost is passed, and ideally once temperature remains above 13 degrees Celsius, take the plant outside for the summer. Do this gradually. Place it in a semi-shaded or even sunny spot. If you cannot take your plant outside, give it as much light as possible, even full sun. For temperature after pruning, uh, you need 20 degrees Celsius is ideal. During the growth, growing period, after that, indoor temperature of 20 to 24 degrees Celsius are adequate. So, okay na po itong potting mix natin. Ready to use na. So we'll proceed to repotting our poncetia. So how to take care of your poncetia in, in bloom? So first, in lighting po, place your poncetia in a well-lit room as much as possible away from sunlight or direct sunlight. So hanggat mga po, in direct sunlight lang sila, hindi po sila pwedeng ma-dry ma nage kasi masusunog po yung mga leaves nila at may fall off. So, I'll show you while I repot, how I repot, and also give clear tips about your poncetia. First, prepare a pot. I'm going to use a wide range pot. Prepare your soil mix. 
as I've already showed you how or what it contains. For watering after pruning, the ponsettia will require less water. Give it only enough to prevent the soil from drying out completely. Once growth resumes, water as necessary, allowing the soil surface to dry out between watering. Outside, especially in full sun, be sure not to let it wilt. As you can see po, may mga loam soil and cocoa pit din po sa paligid ng pagkakapat nila and also vermicast and pumice. I can see pumice and vermicast po. So, I'll just dig a hole sa pagkukwestahan natin. Place it in the middle. Then, nalagyan po ng loop. For fertilizing, after your ponsetia has finished blooming from late April to mid-September, apply a soluble fertilizer such as one labeled 2020-20 once a month. Once new leaves appear, increase the frequency of fertilizing every two weeks to promote vigorous growth. Ponsetia's botanical name is Euphorbia fulcherima has certified itself as UK's number one houseplant over the Christmas season, originating from Mexico. Contrary to popular belief, ponsetias aren't difficult to care for. Once Christmas is over, you are free to pop yours on the compost heap or into your recycling bin, use as a flat flower, or you can try to get your ponsetia to bloom again for the following year. The most widely available ponsetia plant is red, but specialist ponsetia breeders have been hard at work over the past few decades in creating more than 150 different varieties, including beautiful pinks, orange, creams, and white. In fact, ponsetias in warm shades such as apricot, rose, pink, or salmon delight homes from as early as October. It probably comes as no surprise that red ponsetias are the best selling of all, followed by white and cream colored varieties. This is followed by bicolored and speckled cultivars, as well as ponsetias of the pink variety. With star-shaped leaf bracts, ponsetias have become known as Christmas stars in many other languages including in Stella, in Natale in, in Italian and Weihnachtsstern in German. So as easy as that, we are done repotting our sponsetia. The large colorful bracts of the pansetia are often mistaken for flower petals, but they are in fact leaves. The flowers are actually the tiny yellow berry-like structure at the center of each leaf bract, which are called siatia. You should water your ponsetia plant when the soil is noticeably dry. This could be every day in the case of a plant near radiator, in a dry room, or only every other day. Smaller pots need watering more often than the big ones because they dry out faster. So I hope you like this video. Like, share, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell for more updates and for more upcoming videos. Thank you for watching and don't forget to join our sec raffle on our page. Ponsetias need warmth and light. It can be kept to a radiator but it must be kept away from rots. That means no fireplace, open doorways, open windows, or busy hallways. If it's too drafty, this plant may start to lose its leaves. Try to place ponsetia in a sheltered spot. Making these ponsetias well suited to bedrooms and living rooms. So it is really good for indoor plants. Sufficient light is important for the plant to grow and thrive. When November comes around, it is time to start forcing the plant. It will require 12 hours of bright daylight followed by 12 hours of complete darkness to alert it to the shorter days, which will encourage the red flowers to flourish, say the expert at Lechuza. So please like and share this video. Thank you for watching. Happy planting and happy growing.